long time no see again. Uh, Merry Christmas. Um, so I just thought I would start making reaction videos again. Um, I've been, you know, MIA for a long time. And uh, last time you've heard or last you've heard of me, I was on my weight loss journey, which is a whole other story. I'm not doing very good on that. Um, but I will make another video for that to talk about that. But anyway, I've been feeling really inspired recently. Jesse has been streaming the past couple days. Um, it is Christmas now. Um, and he just really gave me a lot of inspiration, a lot of motivation to actually get back into just working hard on pretty much everything that I want to do. Um, so that for me, that's like working, um, uh, making money, um, you know, doing the best I can do for when my dog has puppies, which she's due tomorrow. Um, you know, working hard for that and also working on my channel and also on my weight. There's a lot of things that I feel really motivated for right now to make my life better and just work really hard and just grind really hard on just everything. Uh, just to, try to improve my life as best as I can and to improve myself. Um, so I just thought I would make the videos, uh, the reaction videos again. Um, I'm really loving the series so far and not only do I really like this series but I also love to watch PewDiePie, you know, like his Wooly Why videos <laughs> and the TikTok videos and Laugh You Laugh You Lose. Um, I always really enjoy those and I figure why not, uh, you know, do the reactions with Pewds um, because I just, I just really find them funny. So anyway, um, I'm sorry for the different background. That's something else I wanted to mention. Um, I'm the room that you usually normally see me in with the blue walls. Um, we are repainting the room and putting down new flooring, so that's happening. So I'm just in my bedroom. And also, uh, I'm using a laptop because I don't have my desktop anymore. I gave it to my nieces for Christmas. So I'm on my laptop. I still have my microphone and my webcam, so hopefully everything looks good with that. This is kind of just like a test video, um, so you guys can let me know in the comment section you know, if you think I'm too loud or if you think the video is too quiet or whatever, and then um, I can make the changes for the next one. This is only a six minute video. Um, this is, um, I guess, Big Brother quit his job again, which is kind of weird. It's like second time this happened to him. So we're just going to get started right now. I'll turn it up a little bit. Hey there, little brothers, Big Brother here. You'll notice there's a certain baritone to my voice. Uh, I've unfortunately been sick for the past week, and I have. Oh yeah, I've been um, I've been going to his streams a lot recently. Cause he's been streaming too. Well, actually, I didn't say a lot. I've I've been to like one of them, um, and it's the one with um, where he was with his friends. I don't know if you guys were in there, but that one was like so fun. I really enjoyed that stream. That was fun. Um, but anyways, yeah. So. I didn't do much of anything. I did one live stream with. Uh, Carl, Dave, oh, yeah. and that went no. pretty well because I didn't have to talk too much. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, um, I need to make an announcement. And I need to make this announcement because you're going to find out one way or another for my brother. Basically, I quit my job for YouTube. Second Again. time? But let me so explain on this one. Granted, I do understand that it is Christmas Eve. My last day of work was last week, but it ended up going up to the holidays. So technically my last day would be Christmas Day because that's a paid holiday. So Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> but I think I need to explain myself a little bit better this time because uh, a lot of you may find this as a shock. And it's a little bit of a shock to me too because I didn't anticipate doing this again. <laughs> Essentially, uh, after the last time I left uh, my job for YouTube, um, I was working for five years in an auditing firm, auditing local governments, and I, it just wasn't fulfilling. So after I tried YouTube for a stint, didn't really have anybody to film with, anybody uh, that was interested in filming with me, and I just ended up going right back to it. Well, I knew he was uh, working with the government, doing something with the... Uh, um like like um stuff with politics and i knew like i knew his dad kind of was doing something like that too but i didn't know he did auditing that's pretty interesting fun stuff obviously <laughs> that didn't work out too well because in six months later i left that place and i started working for government i was oh, okay a cfo okay. slash treasurer for a local city we only got wow he must be really good with money <laughs> i'm terrible six months but it kind of reached a point of just I'm sure that was really good <laughs> paying job let me explain it this way and this is how I view things a little bit. I, I, I tend to think that in American society, we kind of put ourselves in this position that we're being told what to do a lot. 
And if you think about it, you go to preschool, you go to kindergarten, you go to elementary school, middle school, high school, and then they're saying, well, you got to go to college. You got to go to college. And they put you in college and like, what do you want to do? And you're like, I don't know. And you're like, well, this is what I think that you should do. And then you go to some other guidance counselor or advisor and they're like, well, this is what I think you should do. Then you end up in a program of something that just really is going to get you a job. And then you graduate. And then what happens? You get a job. You get a job. You're super thrilled. You're getting some money in. Where's that money going? It's going to pay bills. And then what happens next? Generally, for most people, they're going to pursue the American dream, the pursuit of happiness. And get a house. Or whatever <laughs> you're into. And they're going to have a family. And then they're going to get a house together. They're going to get a mortgage. And then they're going to end up being in their 30s or late 20s. And then all of a sudden, they're going to take a step back and think, what the f***? And <laughs> I don't think that I'm necessarily at that point. I think that I uh, have was on my way to reach that point, but I kind of caught myself a little bit. So back in September, I started realizing some things about myself and the prediction. That's interesting for him. Because for me, um, yeah, he kind of was following that same path that everyone kind of goes through. For me personally, it was kind of the opposite. I mean, I always went to college ever since I graduated high school, but... I ended up um, moving down to Florida, working at Disney, uh, really wanted to pursue something that was not really, like, going... I wanted to pursue a lifestyle that was, like, not, you know, like that, get a job, get married, have kids, blah, blah, blah. I kind of wanted to do something, like, a little bit different, something more fun, I guess, like, in my life, like, something different. And so I pursued that, um, and I also had my own business, so I really like the idea of having independence and everything, but for me, it all boiled down to, at the end, now being 35, that I've realized that I really do need stability in my life financially with a stable job, and also, I am at the point now to where I would like to experience having a family and having kids. Um, I guess maybe being 35, like, I kind of, my life just kind of led me up to that point in realizing that, um, and it's interesting because... I didn't, I never thought that stability would feel so comforting as much as it does. I never thought that, like, stability would be so comforting. And, um, I guess I had to go through a lot of rocky roads to learn that. Anyway, I need to finish this. <laughs> Started making some, uh, philosophical life changes in terms of how I view everything in this world. And it led me to the position I'm in now. Unfortunately... My plan, because I re recognize that the last time that I did this, the ad dollars for YouTube was not enough to sustain myself with all the bills that I have incurred, and so I developed this plan where I was able to sign over my brother's assets and uh, operating income from his business over to my bank accounts. And it was only intended to last up until the holidays while peak ad dollars were in place. And unfortunately, he found the original contract mm. and was able to remove me. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Yeah. Unfortunately. So the idea was I was going to establish a little nest egg for myself so that when I eventually got back into YouTube, uh, that I could do it without any worry that I won't be able to meet all my bill needs. I'll just yeah. steal your brother's money. money. For Jesse's Christmas present, I was actually going to make the contract null and void. What kind so of Christmas present is that, though? It oh. came as a shock to me when I put in my Took his money back. And my last day was done and turned in my <laughs> keys that my brother had already taken care of making the contract null and void by removing the contract altogether and removing me as somebody on his account. Wow, cool. So, because you, you guys stole his out account. I wanted to let you guys know up front <laughs> that, hey, I'm back to doing YouTube full time. And sometimes, I kind of wish my voice was always like this. What's the line from the rest of it? I don't know where Job's like seductively reading things off the menu. Chicken fingers with club sauce. Ballpark nachos. With club sauce. <laughs> no. No, that's weird. Oh, that's guys. weird. But anyway, guys, I, th I think this is kind of the bulk of the announcement. I'm not going to make this too long. I'm not going to waste your time with any more explanations other than that. Um, I just wanted you guys to know that you should expect everything in the future coming from me uh, because this is what I'm doing now. We had a lot of great Twitch streams recently. I wanted to shout out uh, real quick uh, Mike Deck for the win and... Uh, Queen Savage Leo 1997, and then also Blanket Monster, because your donations have really kept that stream going so far. Aww. In fact, <laughs> uh, tonight being Christmas Eve, I am going to do a live stream simultaneously as my brother, as he always plans to. If you guys want to tune in, by all means, I encourage it. The big issue for me right now is going to be figuring out how to tell my parents, because this is the first time this is coming out in the open, as of right now. Only my brother and Swift and Dom seem to know, but... 
Um, who knows how long that's going to last? And yeah, I just can't figure out how to explain it to my father. Of course. Huh. You can't explain so anything guys, to him. Subscribe for more <laughs> content. Click the notification bell. Follow me on Twitch. I'm going to be doing that a lot more nowadays. And guys, just remember, no matter where you're at in your life, always remember that you have a choice. You can change your perspective. You can change your living situation. You can, you can change your job. You can change anything. Just remember that. You're not always going to be stuck. Okay? That's all Big Brother has to say. Good Merry advice. Christmas, guys. That was a good video. Um, yeah, I actually believe that quote a lot. Um, or, well, I guess what he said. I don't know if that's an actual quote. But, because uh, last night in Jesse's stream, um, Jesse was asking, like, people, like, what are your New Year's resolutions? And I mentioned that I didn't even really care for New Year's. He asked me why, and I said, well, I kind of don't think that you need to have, like like New Year's or like a holiday to make a change in your life. You can do it any time. Like nothing has to stop you at any time. And that's how I feel like with stuff right now. I feel really motivated. I want to make the change. And I don't really want to wait until New Year's to do it. I want to do it right now. I'm doing it right now. And it's Christmas. And my mom wants me to get off and help her with something because we need to go have dinner now. But I'm really motivated to do this. And I can do it now. And if you really want to do it, you can do it any time. You don't have to let anything get in your way. So that's what I believe. But anyway, I need to get off here. And I got to go do Christmas stuff because it is Christmas. And um, I am spending my time working on this stupid laptop which is giving me lots of problems let me know what you think of the sound the quality and hopefully i don't like shit um i try my best to do the lighting in here but i just I, ugh, my laptop is actually sitting on a um tv tray so i have it lifted up a little bit so you can see my 5,000 double chins and how much i actually look terrible but anyway i need to go um and i will talk to you guys later hope you guys have a good christmas and i'll see you soon bye